Good morning. This is Mark Lefebvre from the Stearns County Soil and Water Conservation District with your conservation report. And this morning, uh, I'd like to start out with uh, talking about living snow fences. And I'm sure I don't have to tell anybody that's driven any of the roads around the county um, how blowing and drifting snow has really affected the travel this winter. Um, we've had continuous snow and, and a lot of wind. Um, so you might ask yourself, what is a living snow fence? And living snow fences are trees, shrubs, or native grasses located along the roads or around communities and farmsteads. And property, properly designed and placed, these living barriers trap snow as it blows across the fields and piling it up before it reaches a road, waterway, farmstead, or community. So how does this work? Um, Drift-free roads are achieved through proper road design and snow fences. A, a suitable designed, suitably designed roadway will promote snow deposition in ditches rather than on the roadway, and blowing snow that does reach the road will move across without drifting. Snow fences can also help maintain clear roadways by capturing blowing snow upwind of a problem area and, snowing, and storing that snow over the winter season. Um, I have a couple of uh, bullet points for benefits of a living snow fence and the first one would, do, would be to it prevents uh, big snow drifts that lead to stranded motors motorists um, improves driver visibility and reduces vehicle accidents third would be reduce use of public money by reducing plowing time it also lessens our impact on the environment with less salt use fewer truck trips and less fuel consumption. It also reduces shipping delays for goods and services. It controls soil erosion and reduces spring flooding and also serves as a visual clues for help, to help drivers find their way. There's a couple of options that our office uh, may help with um, living snow fences and one would be through the Conservation Reserve Program or CRP. Um, there are some options um, for living snow fences in that program where it would set aside the land and you would plant some trees in, in certain areas. Um, so if landowners are interested in that, I guess, you know, you could make note of where the drifts are really bad on a year like this. Um, and then talk to our, uh, probably Jason Selvog in our office about some CRP options. Next thing I'd like to talk about is... Um, a well water nitrate sampling program that we're uh, partnering with the Department of Ag on. Um, the Department of Ag will be sending free uh, testing kits for well water to about 6,500 households in 14 townships in Stearns County that are at high risk for high nitrate levels. The well water in those areas may be at risk for nitrate contamination because of the geology and groundwater depth. Drinking water with high nitrate levels can cause serious health effects in infants and can indicate other contaminants in the water. The testing kit is part of a state effort to minimize groundwater contamination from agricultural sources such as nitrogen fertilizer. Um, the townships that are in this program include Brockway, Crow Lake, Crow River, Fairhaven, Grove, Lissac, Linden, Main Prairie, Melrose, Millwood, Munson, North Fork, Oak, and Wakefield. So if you live in any of those counties and you have a, a well, uh, you will be receiving a kit. And the kit includes a sample bottle that, that can be filled and mailed back to a lab. The sample results will be mailed back to the homeowner at no charge. So if you are in those county, in those one of those townships, um, you don't need to call our office to have a kit sent to you. You will automatically be receiving uh, one of those kits. Uh, to wrap up, I'd just like to mention the that the Stearns County Pheasants Forever uh, 2014 banquet is this Saturday um, at 
at the Freeport Community Center, and the doors open at 5.30 p.m., and the banquet starts at 7.30. So if you're interested in um, coming to that, you can uh, just show up at the door. Um, this has been Mark Lefebvre with the Stearns County Soil and Water Conservation District with your conservation report, and thanks for listening.